Hello world, this is not your average guy on the never mind your own channel. What does that mean anyways? And this is another episode of Flying Your Phantom on Tenerife. Recording. Recording. Everything good to go. I'm inside this massive, huge crater. These hills are the edge of this immense crater and then this big volcano dome is in the middle of it and then all around here are smaller domes and volcanoes like, like that one over here, this one over here and I'm just gonna fly through here and it's it's very very nice landscape just just to be here and and see this and these colors it's really nice so i i think this is gonna be very good footage there we go look at this already this this is this one um, dome just just have a quick look around this is the big one in the middle of everything and uh, my car and there I am thank you very much this is the road and I'm gonna start over there I'm gonna go up more full speed ahead Because uh, I, I came from that direction and I could already see uh, it was very nice out there. I made a couple of photos. So I want to start over there and then fly along, along the ridge. Something like that. Very nice, it. Maybe I just want to sit out here because it's not very comfortable. So that's a volcanic dome. An old one, you know, very old. I don't exactly know when the last time uh, there was some volcanic activity over here. But I never heard of it. I've been in Iceland. And Iceland is uh, quite active. Uh, once in a while you have this uh, an eruption somewhere. Look at this. This is just the edge of the big crater. <laughs> that was some geologic geological activity over here in the past. These islands originated because of this volcanic activity. It's just like the bottom of the sea was rising up. Look, 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 look. I'm gonna turn because I think if I go too far into that direction then I might lose uh, my signal because of this smaller volcanic dome that's basically between the phantom and the big one now. And I'm flying straight to it. Straight towards me. Also. But isn't that a pretty view? I want the camera to go up a little bit. I think like this. 
picture is a little bit more beautiful and also I think I'm gonna take a little bit of a different shot I'm gonna fly sideways because this smaller dome is right in the line of the big one and photographically speaking that is not the best picture you can get so I want I want it to be more like one on one side and the other one on the other side so that's what we're gonna do you see we're getting there a little bit also you see the crater from this small one a lot better from from this side um let's see maybe fly backwards a bit because what 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 about this you know and maybe we, we want the small one up in the air too and then i have to fly lower i'm at 10 meters now I think that area is a little bit... I'm gonna fly backwards because... I want it in the view completely like this like this, like this, like this, like this and the cam oh, the camera can go up I think this is a nice um, shot so what I will do I will fly to the small one from here like this And I want to. I even want to fly lower. So you can really see this landscape well, and also this volcano against the sky. I'm at minus seven meters now. But I think I'm still high enough and then maybe fly up this hill. Basically I cannot bump into anything because there is this anti-collision system of the Phantom. But it will be unfortunate if this thing just stops while I'm making a shot. So now I'm going up, more up, up this hill. That's what I mean. Isn't that nice? Look, it's like you're walking up there. I think that's, this is nice. Keep, keep everything in view. Turn a little bit, go quicker, higher. Like this, yes, 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 and then we turn and we get the big one. Look, isn't that a very, very, very nice shot? Ah, that is just nice. I only hope it's not exactly on the nine minute limit. And it, it, it will skip frames. But I got the resolution uh, a little bit down. So even if it's at nine minutes, then it still might be okay.
in this time but if I would have uh, recorded in a full 4k it always skips a couple of frames at nine minutes because then it makes a new file it has four gigabyte file and then it makes a new one and then it loses some frames when you try to stitch the two together and that is just uh, especially when you make a shot like this you know and and it's at the nine minute then it's just screwed okay i'm gonna i'm gonna turn now to this side and see what we got here make a slow turn meanwhile put the camera down a little bit because otherwise the view is not so nice oh we got a little bit of sun or it's just red look at this I'm just gonna hang out here you know what I'm gonna do it must be possible to make photos but I don't think you can do this while recording so I will stop recording I will go to I think I have to push this one yes photo and I did not have any settings for photos so let's let's just automatically make a photo Cha-ching! all right so we go back to camera again go to camera it doesn't go to camera what is it camera it's just making photos all the time camera record no ah camera record wow how difficult can it be anyway we're at 40 percent which is no problemo um, I want to make a photo from here with with the big one how shall I make that photo costs a lot of time to make one photo push the button like five times and nothing happens making three photos Pfft. what is it So I'm flying this way. And I probably when I come home the the the, the settings of this photo it was not like maximum quality quality or something like that, you know. I always get stuff like that. But anyway, I made a photo. I have a nice little bird saying hi to me you hear it hi yeah I want to make a photo like this you see that I just quickly drop the controls and then and then the camera was doing that so if you make a sudden movement like this and then now it now it's not doing this I'm flying backwards, I'm flying backwards, I let loose, now it's not doing this, sometimes it's doing this, I want to make a photo now, Tada! stop recording, go to photo, make one photo, go back to video, it's not doing this, what is it? It's making another photo. Stop doing that. Just go to video. It's making another photo. Are you kidding me? And another one. I think there is some setting like make five photos. Yeah, another one. It's just making photos.
stop doing that. I'm gonna go back home. What about this one? Nope. No success. Hey. Oh, I see. Wow. I got it. Yeah, you can go to one home. Go home. I I already understand. You you push this button making photos and then it continuously makes photos until you hit this button again and then it stops making photos. Ah, yeah yeah yeah. That's how you find out. It's, I thought yeah, normally it's like you push the button, you make a photo, but it just keeps making photos and I'm... Ay, 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 ay. Well, I can return home Maybe. safe now. By itself. Because we have space enough here. Let's record. Go down. Crazy thing. 16% battery. Put the goggles on. Put the camera down. It's going all right. That was a little bit weird with the photos and um, it means I didn't have as much footage as I maybe could have had but that's the learning process I know now how to do this I got a couple of photos like 10 or 20 of the same position so I can basically throw all of them away but I think the stuff that I did make and the flies that I make will look very nice anyway. So see you next time. Get this one out. Get this one out. That's a nasty one. As I said before in another video, the Fetch Yard goggles is not a plug and play device. Anyway, and I find out that I run out of battery on the GoPro. So I don't know how much footage I have from this struggling with the photo. Well, we'll see. Bye-bye.